it. This is an interview at the Four Point Sheridan Hotel, Manhattan, New York City. It is the 12th of January, 2005, approximately 10.50 a.m. Interviewers are Wayne Clark and Mike Russert. Could you give me your full name, date of birth, and place of birth, please? Robert Sarkis Serafian. And uh, the date of birth? Yes, sir. Uh, February 26th. 1920. Okay, and where were you born? In the United States, in uh, New York City. New York City, okay. Um, what was your educational background prior to entering service? Just, uh, regular and uh, junior high. Okay. Uh, do you remember where you were? Um, and your reaction when you heard about Pearl Harbor? Uh, I was home with my parents, you know. Mm -hmm. And I enlisted very, very shortly after. I didn't wait for to be drafted. Okay. Do you remember, how did you hear about Pearl Harbor? Oh, on the radio. On the radio, okay. Do you remember how you felt when you heard about that? That I was going to go. Okay. So you enlisted? Yeah. Why did you did you why did you select the Air Force? Well, because that's, that's what I happen to like, you know. Mm -hmm. Had you ever flown before? No. You entered service. No, I was and, and when I went in, I handled the bombs. Mm -hmm. But you, uh, so you just were very interested in flying. Not not so much the flying, but of course I did fly from. From Africa to to Italy, you know. Mm -hmm. I enlisted when I was sent overseas. I was sent to England first. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, all right. So you enlisted in January of 1942. Mm. Um, where did you go for your basic training? Uh, St. Louis, Missouri. Okay. And um, how long were you there? And then until they uh, sent me to, to the uh, outfit. What kind of training did you receive in St. Louis? Well, army training. Mm -hmm. And uh, I knew I would, then they assigned me to handling bombs and ammunition. And I took care of that. Mm -hmm. Could you tell us a little bit about the special training they gave you to handle bombs? Oh, well, they taught me uh, what I had to do. We never put the uh, thing, what, what do you call the explosive in until the last, when it was uh, on the plane. The mm -hmm. fuse? The fusing? Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, now, did you go onto the planes themselves as an armorer? I, I, I uh, put the bombs and the ammunition on the planes, but I didn't fly with them. Okay. How did you put the bombs into the planes? Could you explain how you did that? Well, they, they brought them on, on a trailer mm -hmm. and then hoisted them on. Mm -hmm. What kind of hoist did you use to put them on? It's, I, I remember. Okay. Um, now what kind of, uh, now you uh, went to England first? When, when I enlisted, I was sent to Florida first. Okay. And trained there and then assigned to the 97 Bomb Group, mm -hmm. which went to England first on the Queen Elizabeth, believe it or not. Oh, okay. Um, so you went across on the Queen Elizabeth, uh, and uh, where did you stay in England? Uh, Peterborough. Uh huh. And um, how? What did you? Where did you live while you were in Peterborough? Did you live in tents or Quonset huts or? In the huts. Mm hmm. Okay. Now, now was that part of the Eighth Air Force? Yeah. Um, now, how long were you in England? Oh, about six months, and then we were sent to to Africa. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Um, when did you get to England? Oh, I can't remember the date. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, so you were in England about. I was with the 97 Bomb Group, which was shipped to England. Okay. So did you stay with the 97th Bomb Group the entire time? Yeah, until I was sent to sent back home. I mean, to the states, and then put into an outfit in the states. Uh huh. But it was not a, a like like the 97 Bomb Group. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Okay. Um. So. Uh, after you left England, you went to to Africa. Okay. Where did you go? Algeria in? and Tunisia. Okay. Um, what did you do in in Africa? You were in a, did the same work. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what now? Uh, what air force were you with in in Africa? I was in 97 until we were put in the... Here, you want to use this? Yeah, or? thank okay. you. So the 97th Bomb Group was moved to uh, North Africa. North then. Africa. And um, were, and they, Africa. They, were they still a part of the 8th Air Force while yes. they were there? Yes, until they went over... The, well, we were... Yes, we were part of the 8th Air Force. Okay. Now, what kind of planes were you loading? B-17s. B-17s, okay. Um, now, when you, uh, the, you put the bombs on the planes, uh, you didn't put the fuses into them? No. That no. was up to the bombardier? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Did you uh, give, were the uh, fuses kept separately? I don't, I don't remember. Okay, I, I was just kept. curious if. Um, how long were you in North Africa? North Africa? Mm -hmm. Until the war, war was over, then they sent me to, to the States, back back to the States until I got out. Oh, did you ever go to Italy at all? Yeah. Oh, when did you go there? First I went to England, then Tunisia and Algeria, and then Italy. Okay. I ended up in Italy. Okay. Hello? Oh, okay, I'll come down for him. Um, where in Italy did you go? Where, where in Italy? Foggia. Foggia? Okay. Um, now, uh, were you with the 8th Air Force still in, in Italy? Well, it's, uh, what, uh, the 8th Air Force was uh, in England, uh -huh. then the, it was cha changed because we went to North Africa, and then we went to Italy. Okay. Now, um, did you ever fly at all on any of the planes besides flying I over? Flew, I flew when when I when we went to mm -hmm. to uh, Italy. I flew in the plane. Mm -hmm. Did you ever fly any missions? No. So, because I know we talked to one armor that, uh, that said he flew a couple missions. I no, didn't know if no, you I ever... Didn't, no, I didn't. I think the crew just took him I, away. I, I was on them. Mm -hmm. um, do you think... Uh, why do you think your job was so... Do you think your job was interesting? It was important. Important. Oh, I mean, I put the bombs on mm -hmm. and then the ammunition mm -hmm. on the plane. So you loaded all the machine gun ammunition on board yeah, too. Yeah. Did you have to load the guns the guns, or was that up to the gunners to do? It's, it's, it's up to the gunners. Uh huh. Can I have that, uh, Stephen? Yes, yeah, certainly. That he brought his scrapbook. Yes. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah. My Okay, we're rolling again. Do you remember how long you were in North Africa? I, 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 uh, North Africa, how long? I moved from one area uh -huh. to the other. From, from, uh, well, that's Algeria. okay. 
Now, um, when you left from England to Africa and from Africa to Italy, what? How did you? What kind of planes did you fly on? Uh, transport planes. Okay. All right. Um, were you ever any? Uh, when you were on any of these bases, were you ever under any attack? No. Mm -hmm. um, now, in Africa, what kind of structures did you live in? Uh, we took over uh, the buildings. Okay, you had buildings instead yeah. of living in tents? Yeah. Okay, how about Italy? Italy was the same. Same, okay. Um, did you ever have any contact with the people in England, Africa, or Italy? The well, I mean, I... Outside the base. I got along with them, yeah. Mm -hmm. No problem. No problems at all. Yes. You might ask him about the church he uh, attended in England. Okay, could you tell us about the church you attended while you were in England? Well, the uh, Armenian church in, in, in London, England. Oh, okay. I, I forgot now what the name of it mm -hmm. was, but there's one, one church there. Now, how did you learn about that? Well, from talking to the fellas, mm -hmm. they told me where it was, and. I went there. Mm -hmm. um, In fact, our bishop that came here, I, I met him over there first okay. before he came here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, were you while you were in England? Did you uh, were you over there during the uh, buzz bomb attacks? Yeah, it comes to think of it, it was was. We didn't have much problems mm -hmm. because we were sent. We were the first over, so we were sent to to, to uh, uh, North Africa from England mm -hmm. because we were the oldest outfit overseas. Mm -hmm. Was your base ever under attack uh, by German planes no, in no. either North Africa or Italy? No, it wasn't. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, were you with the same crew throughout your time yeah. in, in the three places? Yeah. Okay. Um, why don't you show us uh, your crew and the crew that were with you and talk about them a little bit. Now if you could like hold this like this, Wayne can focus on that and you can talk about them. Now that's your... Uh, that's the armament section. Mm -hmm. Now, where are you in that photograph? Uh, here, here I am, right here. Okay. So, you're basically, you kept the whole crew the entire time yeah. you were overseas. Yeah. All right. This is the arm section. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, who were some of these individuals? This, this is Petra Gallo. Well, that's good. me. Could we turn this? And this is Riley, but I forgot his name now. So this is you. Yeah. Now, do you remember where and when that photograph was taken? Maybe it's on the bottom. Oh. This is Robert Saravian, born February twenty-six, nineteen twenty, Cambridge. England. Oh, it was taken while you were in England. Okay. Now, did you ever stay in contact with any of these men that you served with? N not much. After the war? After the war, I got married. And, uh, there's some other, I think there's some other pictures here. Here I am again. Mm -hmm. Is is a, a, one of the cards they use? Now is that you with this vehicle? That look, was that where was that taken? Was that taken in North no, Africa? That, that, that's not me. Oh, okay. Here I am. 
them again. I don't know. Well, do, you don't have to take the photograph out. Yeah. Okay, so this is you again? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, did you take your own camera with you? No. I no? Can I turn it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Here I am again. And again. Here we are after we went swimming. Now, was that one probably taken in Africa or? This was yeah, taken in, in, in uh, Africa. Mm -hmm. Now what did you do in Africa when you, did you have any leave time? Not really, I mean going back to the state. No, into the like cities no, or nothing, any of the villages? Maybe a day off or so, that's mm -hmm. all. It's a B-17. How long did it take to load a B-17 for a mission? Oh, it took, let's say, a couple of hours the most. So if they were going on an early morning mission, you had to get up pretty oh, early to I, load them. I, I did, yeah. Here's one of the Movie stars. If we could get them. Yeah, if we could turn this again. Do you know who that is? Uh, yeah. I think I is. Francis Langford. Oh, oh, okay. Can you just hold that up in front of you? Uh, okay. She was, or if you can you have this if you need it. Um, so you saw some USO shows? Yeah, whatever they, uh, they Mm-hmm. Now, who are, who is this here? Do you know who that is? It could, it could be Francis Langford. I think, yes it is. That's her again. Mm-hmm. Do you ever see Bob Hope on any of the shows? Oh, yes. You did. Where in North Africa or in Italy or England? North Africa. Uh huh. Here's a B seventeen. I'm going to try and turn this again. Now, is that a flight crew from a B-17? That's a crew to this plane, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, since you were with the same bomb squadron, then you must have had all the same flight crews yeah. with you. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. the ex I think it's called the Exterminator, isn't it? Can you read it? Yes, it is. Now, I, how long were you overseas? Oh, England, Africa, Italy. Probably close to two years. Yeah, it must be. Mm -hmm. <coughs> uh, how were, oh, I, I, okay, on your form you said 26 months, so you were over oh, more than two years. How, um, you must have been one of the earliest groups to go into England then. We were. You were. We, we, the minute uh, we were going to going overseas, we went to England, then we went to Africa. And do you remember about when you arrived in England? The beginning of the war, uh, war that we that we got into. We got into it after, after that. Mm -hmm. 
So you must have been over in early in '43 then. Oh yeah. You were a very early group. Yeah, I was. It's the first outfit over. Mm-hmm. Now we, we were the first outfit over. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, did you uh, get any of the the jackets that they had like no. that? No, I didn't. So ground crews didn't get that type of jacket. Mm -hmm. Well, here, I think, <laughs> this one here is George Riley. Okay. I don't remember what the other... Mm -hmm. other no, that, that looks like that's taken in Africa? Yeah. Okay. Those some children that... Did you have children and, and uh, some of the local people on the bases? Well, uh, just those that were with nearby, uh -huh. but nobody special. Uh -huh. Here I am, you can see. Yeah, I'm at the window there. Oh, okay, peeking out the uh, yeah. gun position. All right. Here I am with a puppy. <laughs> I couldn't bring it home with me. They wouldn't let me. Mm -hmm. Where did you uh, get the puppy? Well, nearby where I... in uh, uh, Africa. Were you able to take it to Italy with you? Yeah, but not, not, not over there. Uh -huh. Now, when did you uh, come back to the States? Do you remember? Well, and uh, after two years overseas, I, I, went, I went back back to the States. Mm -hmm. Now, what did you do in the States when you returned? Uh, they put me in the armament section. Were you used to help students, or did you teach others how to do no, it? Or no, we loaded the bomb. Okay. Um, what to be shipped overseas? Yeah. Uh huh. And you were in service then until the end of the war. You said. Yeah. Okay. Oh do yeah, for sure. Do you remember uh, where you were when uh, President Roosevelt died? I think I think I was in uh, back to the states. Then. Mm -hmm. Do you remember how you felt when you heard about that? Well, of course, I felt sad about mm -hmm. that. I that's the only time I voted re, re, uh, Democratic. <laughs> After that, I was a Republican. Uh oh, you shouldn't give your voting record away. <laughs> um, do you remember uh, where you were when uh, the war ended in Europe? I know you were in the uh, United States. I was in the United States, yeah. Um, do you, was there celebration on the base when you heard? Oh, yeah. We all were, were happy for that, so we remember we were going to be discharged. Mm -hmm. Now, were you discharged after the war ended in Europe, or did you stay in until after it ended in no, Japan? After, after the war ended in Europe. Okay. Um, after that, they didn't need me. Mm -hmm anymore. Mm -hmm. This is some of the crew. Now, what is that, like a club? Uh, it's miss, yes, an enlisted men's club. Uh-huh. Now, what was your rank when you left service? I ended up a corporal. Okay. Um, after you were discharged, did you make use of the GI Bill at all? No. 
to buy a house or anything no, with it? Nothing. How about the 5220 Club? Did you make use of that? No. My father was a jeweler. Mm -hmm. He had a jewelry store. So I just went back to work in the jewelry store. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, did you ever join a veterans organization? Yes. Which organizations did you join? American Legion. Mm -hmm. Have you? Are you still a member? Yes. Life member, or imagine. Yes. Uh, are you active with the American Legion, or? Oh, uh, no, no, not as active as I used to. I'm a 80, 89 now. Yes. Okay. Um, do you? Uh, did you? You never kept in contact with anyone that was in service with you. I did for quite a while, uh -huh. but you know. Right. I got. A, I don't even know if they're alive yet. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, how do you think your time in the service changed or had an effect on your life? I said, well, it really didn't change me. I I served and that was it. Twenty. Twenty. What is it? Jan January I enlisted in 40, 42 mm -hmm. and, and I ended up uh, serving until the war was over. You don't think it had any change or effect on your life though? No, because I went right, right to work in a jewelry store, mm -hmm. my father's store. Okay. It was on Dykeman Street, uptown Manhattan. Mm-hmm. When did you get married? Five years later. Okay, after the war. Hmm. Okay. Do you think there anything he forgot? I he think I'd have... emphasize that uh, coming back from the war, Dad not only went back to uh, his dad's business, mm -hmm. but he also went back into the ethnic community and really did pick up pretty much where he left off. Okay. Um, and the people from that era that he socialized with were his friends to this day or until their death. Mm -hmm. uh, just from that period, just right back into it. Also, the, um, uh, the priest in London that he mentioned later became uh, Patriarch of Jerusalem and later uh, wound up as the head of the Armenian Church in America. Oh, okay. uh, so it was... Um, it was a contact he kept up for many years. Mm -hmm. uh, the man was in retirement in Dad's home parish uh, at the end of his life, and so. Huh. Yeah. Well, it's interesting that you met this gentleman in in England, and yeah. then he ended up coming back into your life when, again when over here. When he was here. a priest in England, mm -hmm. and then when he was sent to to <laughs> the states, he of course had a higher rank. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much for your interview. I appreciate it. Well, we appreciate you coming over.